Ghostbusters fans, what's up? It's me, some guy you've never heard of that you have so much in common with. Nice to meet you. So here I am showing you how I built my boots, Ghostbusters boots specifically. And how did I do it? Well, let me show you. Well, the first thing that I did is I got online. I found myself a pair of corker and jump boots. I found them in brand new condition and I decided to break them in myself. Uh, you can find plenty online that are used uh, from the Vietnam era. And I believe that's what they did for their own props as well. I can't imagine many actors would have been very happy with breaking in a brand new pair of military boots. <laughs> now, as you can see, I spent a lot on mine, but you need not pay that much. Just keep an eye out for deals. And uh, if you really do want to get new and you do want to find the zippers, well, you're going to have to pay for them. It's just that simple. So the original Corcoran jump boots are like this red brown leather. They look real sweet with denim and they're beautiful boots, but uh, that's not what we're after in this case unless you want to put a lot of polish on them. So uh, we want the Corcoran jump boot in black or the Corcoran field boot, which has a modern sole. Uh, it's very difficult to find the ones with the zipper, but if you can, I highly recommend it as that's the most authentic. Now this company here, Carolina, seems to have them in stock. So uh, I'll put a link down in the description below because at the time of this recording, they are still available in new condition, which is absolutely excellent. What you're after here is most most uh, authentic is the uh, Corcoran 995 and that's this model here with the zipper on the inside and you'll see how I modified them to bring them back in time a little bit and make them more authentic to the 1980s all right let's get this party started first thing we're going to do is get the laces out of there get them ready to go and then we're going to start to uh, get the black paint off of the zippers we're going to get it down to the bare metal as it was presented in the film uh, they didn't originally paint these things off the factory line that was more of a modern application. Um, what I want to get down to is the bare steel, but what I'm finding is brass, so that's going to take a little bit more modification. Now we're going to add some Neats foot oil using this beautiful old sock. Don't worry, it's clean. I'm not that nasty. And this is going to get right through to the base of the leather and get through all of that protective outer layer. And it's going to really soak into the leather and really invite it to start to work in. It's kind of like... Uh, for fast forwarding the process of your uh, of your boot um, work in period, which is you know a great thing to do for anybody that's wearing original leather boots. These are just you know made to get better with age, which means that they suck at first, you know. So you've got to put the work in. And uh, speaking of the work, here's how I did it. The first thing I did, I kind of got myself down into the push up position. I just used a bench, and uh, I'm trying to break the toes forward. Uh, we really, really, really wanted, like, all that all that sole has been glued down, glued flat, and then stood there for months or even years in that condition. So we're trying to sort of, like, free up the glue. And what's really important is you want to break that ankle backwards. You see that? You want that leather fold at the top of the ankle because that's what sends the leather that goes up the leg forward and makes the boot look much, much better. So that's important to do that. I also forgot to film this part, or I deleted it, I can't remember, but I cut these pieces off. I was hesitant to do it, but I'm really glad that I took it off, because they weren't there in the film. So, that's just what they look like now, gone. Much, much more authentic to what it should be for the film. Um, and even the little rattle you get with the uh, zipper is authentic. Side note, sounds and smells are part of authenticity, too. So here's a comparison between the two zippers. The one on the left is the uh, brass as it came from the factory, and the one on the right has been altered to look like steel. And here's how I did it. I just used uh, an art marker pen, a metallic silver, and uh, this is me and how fast I work. I'm like a squirrel. I can just go. But yeah, it really, really makes a big difference to the authenticity. Uh, the uniform had strongly apparent brass zippers, and the boots had strongly apparent steel zippers. And these little details really step up your costume quite a lot as far as authenticity is concerned. Uh, this was a lot of fun. It was sort of therapeutic, to be quite honest. I had a good time. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to remove a tag. And the reason I'm going to show you something so simple is because a lot of you are still going to screw it up. <laughs> uh, you know what? If you want to see how well something was made, turn it inside out, okay? So, like, don't half fast your uniform on the inside either. Now, you can leave the tag if you want to, but I chose to remove mine in case I unbloused my pants. I didn't want it falling out and sticking out the top like a tongue. So just get rid of all the pieces and make it look good. And uh, take pride in your uniform. Uh, 
Now those those uh, buttons, what's left over, those button backs on the top there, they're not supposed to be there. Now, I could remove them, but they'd leave holes. So I'm going to paint them, except I don't have any more paint. So I'm not going to do it yet. It's not going to be on this video. Now across the top there, those are captain's bars. So you send the, 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 the uh, laces through twice and it holds it in place. And then in the back, I've got a flat knot, okay? Um, that way it won't dig into my shin bone. So here's how you do a flat knot. Uh, you want to go under, over, right? Then you're going to go over, under, okay? And that gives you a nice flat knot as opposed to a traditional knot that's just like a little ball. So you do that, it'll be a little bit more comfortable, and that's what it should look like, okay? You can find other tutorials on how to do that if you want to find out. Okay, so the next step is we're going to remove what's left of the laces. Now you can see I didn't have enough laces to tie good bows, and I, I wanted to have a cleaner look on my particular uniform. Uh, this is where I slightly deviated from what they were, did in the film. But yeah, I'm just going to, first of all, I've made my knots, are, sure my knots are nice and tight, so they don't come undone. And uh, then what I've done is uh, I've cut the uh, what's left of the laces just at about a half an inch away from the actual knot itself. And as it's polyester and nylon or whatever it is, it melts. So I'm just going to burn it and then melt it. I actually used my fingers here, but that's a little bit silly to do. So what I did is uh, off of film, I did redid them and I grabbed a pair of needle nose pliers. These things just melted. They almost caught, caught fire like candles, to be honest. And uh, I just made them nice and flat with the... Uh, with the uh, needle nose and they came out really good i don't suspect they'll ever come undone and uh, that's exactly what you want once you commit to something you stick to it okay my friends it's moment of truth time let's get these bad boys on and here they are uh they're gonna look better with time but they look pretty darn good in a short amount of time and that was the plan and uh let's give them a little performance test let's see how they work okay so far so good a little tight but they'll 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 get softer and uh, oh, here we go, here we go, yeehaw, there's gold in them there hills, and we are happy, Ghostbusters, and at attention, and let's go have a beer. Well, as today is Christmas Eve, I've decided to finish this video with this picture, and uh, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this process with me. Um, be aware that, you know, if you can't get these boots, that you can find something similar. Uh, there's a Bates boot as an option. And there's also uh, black boots with a little bit of polish and then scuffed up. Or if you can find yourself a zipper, then go for it. Well, video finished. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing as I'm doing a lot more. And I've done a bit too. Go check out my other videos if you got some time. Especially if you're a Ghostbusters fan. There's a couple on there for you. All the best, my friends. Take care.